Okay, so you should have typed that into your calculator, 45 tangent 59. Make sure that it's set on degrees. And then let's check this out. It says we want to round to the nearest tenth of a foot. So uh, let's remember what tenth means. Tenth means one decimal place. Okay, so keep that in mind on... Uh, Tenth is one decimal place, so let's look over here. 74 point, uh, we're going to keep that 8 or raise it. The 9 tells us to raise it to 74.9. Okay, so that's going to be approximately 74.9. Okay, not equals, and then feet. All right, so let's keep, it in, keep that going. All right, so next, a person snorkeling sees a turtle on the ocean floor at an angle of depression of 38 degrees. Okay, so what the snorkeling means is that person's right, right up here, right, and they're swimming, and they're looking down. Angle of depression is 38 degrees. All right, so here's the deal. We said the angle of depression is equal to the angle of elevation. Okay, so here's what I want to do. Instead of putting that 38, see the actual 38 goes over here, right? Uh, not here. A common mistake is to put 38 there, okay, but that's wrong. Okay, we're going to put the 38 right over here because we're going to say it's the angle of elevation. Okay, so that's the key. Anytime we have an angle of depression, just turn it into the angle of elevation. Now, let's look from this perspective, okay? So it's a, we know that this is our opposite. This is our hypotenuse, and this is our adjacent. So it says she is 14 feet above the ocean floor. So what is the 14? Is it this, or is it this, or is it this? Okay, above the ocean floor means this is the 14. Right? I'm going to change the color. So this is the 14. All right, so then it says how far from the turtle is she? So does that mean this or this? Okay, well, if we see here, the turtle is right over here. So this is what we're trying to find out. Okay, so we're working with the opposite side and the hypotenuse side. So we're going to remember. Uh, so, ka, toa, right? Okay, so the one that has opposite hypotenuse is sine. So we're going to say that the sine of 38 degrees is equal to the ratio of 14 over x, right? Okay, so now let's just cross multiply, right? So we know that x times thir sine of 38 is written as x sine 38. Remember, we're going to put that first, okay? So then equals uh, 1 times 14 all day is still 14, okay? Then we're just going to divide by the sine of 38, divide by the sine of 38, Okay, so those cancel. X is approximately, let's type that in. Okay, so we're just going to push enter so we can keep all this stuff here. And we're going to type in 14. Okay, divided by sine 38. So I'm just going to push the main button over here, push sine 38. Okay, and now this one says to the nearest hundredth. So hundredth is two decimal places. Okay, so remember that about hundredth is two decimal places. So 22, it's going to be approximately 22.7. Now we look at the 9 to tell us what to do with the 3, right? Do we keep the 3 or raise it? 9 tells us to raise it, okay? So that's the difference between tenth, okay, and hundredth. All right, let's keep that in mind. Let's keep it moving. Okay, so let's look over here. Okay, so this one says, um, the top of the lighthouse in Port Bolivar, Texas is 116 feet above sea level. Okay, so we see that, 116 feet. The angle of depression from the light on the top of the tower to a passing ferry is 37. Okay, so let's keep that in mind. That says angle of depression. Okay, is 37. Well, let's change it to an angle of elevation, right? So we said we're going to say angle of uh, depression is the same thing as angle of elevation, right? So we're going to change it to there. So how many feet from the bottom of the lighthouse is the ferry? Okay, so that's the bottom of the lighthouse to the ferry. So this is what we're trying to find. Okay, so now let's look from this perspective, right? Okay, so we know that this is a right angle. 
right? So we know that, let's just change the color here so we can recognize it. That's the hypotenuse, right? So from this perspective, that's the opposite, right? And that's the adjacent. So what sides are we working with? Okay, we're working with the adjacent side, which is X, and the opposite side, right? So we know adjacent and opposite, adjacent and opposite would be TOA, right? So we're going to say the tangent of 37 degrees is equal to the ratio of 1 O over A, right? 116 over X. Okay, so we know when, when the X is on the bottom, which, well, either way, we're going to cross multiply, right? So that's going to be X times the tangent of 37. X tangent 37 is going to be equal to 116 times that 1, right? So we can put it over 1 if it's helpful. Okay, so that's going to give us uh, 116, right? And then we just divide by tangent 37 right because that's what we want to get rid of both of those so that's why we divide that by tangent 37 okay common mistake is to just do the 37 so that tells us x is approximately let's just put that in our calculator right let's do it okay so let's just push the enter button here okay i'm gonna push this a over b this time i'm gonna put 116 in the top okay i'm just gonna push my down right there tangent 37 boom tangent 37 okay so 153.93 153.9 actually let's round to 100 that 7 would make that 3 of 4 right x is that right boom what's going to be our answer this one okay all right let's do it now let's find an, this is another dcp type question uh, from the dcp so let's do this there's no picture but that's okay we can draw it this is a 14 foot ladder is used to scale a 13 foot wall so we know we're talking about right triangles right so let's do that first a 14 foot ladder is used to scale a 13 foot wall which one's the wall this one this one or this one well the wall has to be 13 right 13 foot wall right 14 foot ladder where is that where will we put a ladder on the ground or up against the wall we would put that right so that's 14 right it says angle what angle of elevation must be used so where's the angle? there here elevation is going up right so they want us to find that, right? Actually, I'm going to change color just so we recognize. That's what they want us to find, right? That's our X. So we need to, since we're trying to find the angle, we're going to use inverse trig, right? That's our hint for that. So inverse trig. So let's go ahead and label our sides. If that's opposite the 90 degrees, that has hypotenuse, right? Here, this is going to be actual opposite. That's our adjacent. So we're working with the opposite side and the hypotenuse. So we're going to say inverse uh, tangent, right? Inverse tangent. So we're going to say the inverse tangent. So x equals, right? Which is x. x equals the inverse tangent of our uh, opposite over adjacent, right? Opposite would be 13 over 14. Okay, so this one, since we're setting it up to find the angle, we do x equals, right? We don't use uh, x in that. So let's just type that into our calculator. So let's do it. Okay, so now we remember to find the inverse tangent, we're going to push the function button. So in, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Man, I messed it up, so let's just push that. Boom, it's okay. Now, inverse tangent of... 13 over, oop, boom, it's okay, but divide, right, oop, up, 13, over, 14, okay, so, 42 point, what, 42.9, right, 40, it's approximately 42.9 degrees, 42.9, so our answer is, G, which is right at 43. All right, so that's the basics of it. Um, the main thing is when we see angle of depression, convert it to an angle of elevation, and then we'll just do the angle of elevation and follow those same tips. All right, right over here, uh, angle of elevation here. If we have angle of depression, change it to the angle of elevation, Oop. and then uh, you can find it from there. Okay, so make sure you do those practices and your quiz, and you'll be ready for the